Hello, beautiful. I, ouch. <laughs> Rewind. I hope you are doing well. I'm excited to be here with you today. I would like to welcome my water signs, which is our Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. And if you're not, your sun sign isn't possibly water. Could be that your moon sign is or your Venus. It depends on your chart. So you might just be drawn to this message. But whenever you find this message, you were meant to find it. All right, my lovelies, here we go. Let's get you a blessing to start off with. I always feel like good energy, you know, starting off with a positive direction. If you are new, welcome to A Love, Love, and Tarot. I am so excited for you to be with us. You may be like, wow, I don't know why I clicked on your video. Stay tuned. There's something here for you. And if you're returning, woo! I got your message. <laughs> Welcome home, my 11 family. I love you guys so very much. I, I truly do. All right, my love. We got two cards. Are you ready for your blessings? You got double blessings. That's awesome. Self, I want to make sure you can see it good. Self-acceptance. Is this better? Where's our spot today? There it is. Oop, there it is. Self-acceptance. All right, y'all. You know what that means. That means that you have to get comfortable with your flaws and be like, hey, they're who I am. And maybe they're flaws to you. But maybe they're magical to others with enchantment. That is exquisite. So you've got this unicorn, which is like this <clears throat> mystical being, um, being unique, standing out from the crowd and realizing you're not for everyone, except that your difference could be that you're a rose in a whole bunch of dandelions, you know? You just need to accept your qualities as part of who you are, your qualities as Maybe your strong points and you don't know it. I'm just saying. You just don't know. What I see coming for you is this concept of newness that's designed for you that you have to have complete self-acceptance in order to fulfill that destiny. You have to be comfortable with who you are, know who you are. So this is, for some of you, it's going to be a time of getting to know who you are for yourself. And others, it's going to be a time where you're recognizing that everything that you've been through made who you are, and you can step into those shoes now and own that with, you know, integrity. Okay, my loves, let's go ahead and get a blessing on this, a prayer, if you will, for some guidance. And if you have headphones on, I would highly recommend slipping them off. I'm about to ring this little brass bowl three times and I don't want to hurt your very important ears. Three, two, one. Archangel Michael, hold my hand as I walk through the tarot. Protect me from everything that it shall not harm me or damage me in any way, nor shall it prosper against me. Archangel Gabrielle, thank you for the important messages for the highest good of all my 1111 family and the Cancers, the Scorpios, the Pisces, my Starlights, my 1111 online, offline family. Please show us that message that we need to see for the highest good for the Cancers, Scorpios, and Pisces. Allow us to see the divine nature, the path given for advice. May I see the truth clearly and share the truth clearly. Archangel Raphael, thank you for your continued healing of my body, my lungs, my spirit, my energy, my physical being, my emotional being. Thank you for the blessings abundance, protection, and guidance. 
All right, loves, let's go ahead and get started. We'll move this beautiful little candle that I said a little prayer on. Whoa, I just slid the board. Woo! Okay, let's get it nice and straight for you. I had the adhesive underneath it, and I took it off to dust. Okay, this is a new deck, y'all. Check it out. The Sacred Forest. Now, this was donated anonymously. It is by Dennis or Denise Lynn. Let's go ahead and see what your energy is. And you've got a story already. All right, my beautiful water babies. Let's see what your story is. I am definitely going to have to adhere this mat again. Aspen Spirit Courage. It's got these beautiful new beginning yellow colors with the blue butterflies. Um, and it's like embarking onto this adventure to this castle. So there is an adventure that you're going to feel guided to. It could be metaphoric. I sense travel. Strongly, strongly sense travel coming. Now keep in mind, this could be for your future self. This is your higher self message. Speaking of higher self, Owl Spirit Wisdom. Look at that beautiful card. All the red moving into the greens and the wisdom of that owl flying over her head, the seer. It's like your third eye is that owl and you're looking at the higher perspective of the world. She even has butterfly wings, if you look right up in here. Do you see those beautiful wings on both sides of her? Spring is coming for a lot of those in the North America. And spring frog spirit is kind of in this picture. You've got this frog, and you know where she kisses a lot of frogs, or kisses a lot of toads to get to her prince? Something's coming up for you, because you've had a lot of trials and errors, but this one's about to be the honey tree. Like, you're going to find a bandit. It's almost like you found a dragon's treasure within the universal sky of being abundant. So there's something very, very good coming in. Now, what is the challenge? What is the headwind? You know, our, our tailwind, which sails us forward as, you know, if you were the geese and you were flying, that, that tailwind's pushing you to your destination. It's giving you better gas mileage. And you have that owl spirit being able to see the bigger picture. What is challenging you and coming at you is the storm spirit chaos. So all of this newness comes with a large amount of change. And I'm not talking just change in an inner being, but an environment. And I am in, oh, we spun this frog spirit renewal. It will renew you. It will renew your sense of wonderment and bring in some satisfaction to you that you haven't felt since, I don't know, another life. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll grab a drink. Pardon me. Forgive me. Like I coughed twice because I felt like my throat chakra was getting tickled. And it's almost as if you are wondering if you take this leap of faith if this journey is going to be worth the juice from the squeeze. So you're asking the divine, is this really going to be worth it? Is this what I want? Am I going to find satisfaction if I invest my time? That's what you're asking. I can feel that. We're going to go with the good tarot right here. This should actually be over here. And it is your uniqueness. You have a, a unique destined path. And this path is going to invite you to travel. Could be metaphoric, but I am sensing there is a physical travel here. 
for quite a few. Not for all. I got to see her. That owl spirit wisdom is you. For sure, my waters. This is your card. This is Pisces energy. But it's also water energy overall. This is my Scorpio, my Pisces, um, my Cancer. It is all about your natural intuition. You're a natural seer. And you're stepping into that wisdom of, of being able to tell if something's for you. So the universe is trying to answer you. You're asking, if I do this, is this for me? And the universe is trying to say, what do you feel? What do you feel? So when you listen to your intuition, it's really you tuning into, how do you feel about it? All right, we're going to go with the Dream Keeper Tarot. And we're going to do some qualification. I said that so weird, like Dream Keeper Tarot. I don't know. It was weird. Aspen Spirit, this courage you're going to get to take this journey, this leap of faith. Let's understand that. Strength and protection. The universe is saying, do not get wrapped up in your fears. That is the only thing that can hold you back. Don't let your fear hold you back. You, my love, are divinely chosen for this journey. It's, a, it's not just a journey. It's a mission. You can accomplish it any way you want. It's the end result that matters. So let's do it without fear. Let's see. In clarity, give us strength to overcome our fears. Fear is from doubt. Doubt is from not understanding something. I highly recommend researching what this is so you know more. Clarity. Let's see this. What do we have in clarity? Qualifying this. Aspen spirit. That was a lot of energy. Five of cups. Regret. I just heard. I'll regret if I don't try this. Like I'll never know if I was right. That's strong. I'll never know if I don't try. I'll never know if I don't try. Wisdom. What does your higher self give you for direct communication here regarding this new beginning? Ace of Swords. Your higher self has given you the clarity, my love. You know. You already know. You already know. You're the seer. You've got this owl spirit of wisdom. Your third eye, your chakra, crown chakra, is firing off. And your intuition saying, follow me. You can feel what you want to do. You can feel it. You're just allowing fears and doubts and worry. Don't. Chariot, you're going to win. You are going to win. That's a chariot. That is Major Arcana, and it is all about winning the race because there are no reins on these horses. They magically go where your intuition is, and your intuition will only take you to your highest place because your intuition is your higher self. Your higher self is giving you feelings, tokens of knowledge. Trust your intuition. Here we go. Trusting your intuition. You're going to win. It's a win, win, win. It's a win, win, win. It's a win, win, win. I love it. Did you hear that clap? That was like, I meant it. <laughs> Four of Swords. Rest. Relax. Let your blessings come in. It's about laying your worries to rest. You can trust the divine. You can trust your higher self. Drop the mic. Remember when I'm talking about the seer and all this intuition and this magical knowledge you have because it's like you are this ancient shaman. You know you are the seer. Water signs, water babies, look at me. Look at this. Do you see this beautiful, beautiful light? This is the crystallics. It is... 
how do I explain this? It is spirit in the material form. You are knowing for your life, you know, you know the right way to go. You can feel it. Your higher self, you have tapped in. Like you are tuned in, tapped in, ready to go. You turn that station right into your higher self. You did. It's right there on the board. And it's triple tapped. You've got this frog spirit renewal. Let me see what's going on with my water babies here. What's going on? Let's go into introspection. This is like looking back on your past, which we're all very good at. Let's see what you're going to take. It's also your ninth house, which is your philosophy, your travel. Um, in life. And I do predict some travel for you, some, some serious travel. Queen of Swords, Truth Seer. Truth Seer. The Queen of Swords is all about cutting out what doesn't belong in her life. It's all about knowing what needs to be there and trimming the fat off that's just taking your energy away and not replenishing. The Queen of Swords is a truth speaker, somebody that walks within the right passage. She's due north. That's your energy, too. Um, it's It can be a Virgo, Libra, Aquarius energy as well in the tarot. But that's, I feel like that's you embracing that energy. And you may have those air signs in your chart. Okay, I want to see your perspective of your life as you move forward and things begin to manifest that you're manifesting now are going to show up in your future. So that's why you always want to think positive and don't doubt because it's not here yet. A carrot takes 70 days to grow when you plant it. There's a gestational period when you plant the universal seed of what you want. When you're stepping out of your fate, you know, which is like my my grandfather was a lawyer. My dad's a lawyer. I'm going to be a lawyer. Okay. That's your fate. It's like what your predecessor's destination could be. Um, but destiny is what your higher self wants to achieve. So I want to walk into this perspective from your higher self view, how you're doing on that path to your destiny. Rash, quick action. Slow it up a little bit. you got that four swords. Remember, there's a gestational period for everything. Don't allow your expectations to not be reached. So allow this to come in natural. Right? I mean, when a baby starts to walk and they can't do it right away, you're not like, doggone it. No. You're like, oh, it's happening. See, so you've got to nurture this in, a, in an aware way, intentional way. This is going to be your experience. Yep, it's all about getting a new perspective and realizing that this is due you. This is coming in. But there is some nurturing you have to do. And you're not going to be able to sit on your laurels and expect this to roll in. This is you continuing to do that same vibration, that same inner work that you've been doing. It's as it's as with, as without, as above, as below. So without the success being given to you right this second, you're still going to need to put in the work knowing it's coming. The more you know it, the more you're going to be persistent, consistent, reliable, and that energy gets reflected. If you want the universe to be consistent, provide it. Cleansing. I feel like water signs, I have a cancer moon. Uh, I'm sorry, Cancer Venus of a Capricorn moon. Um, I'll tell you, there is some emotional trial going on here. Let's see what your blessings are for, for allowing this to come in. What are these beautiful blessings that are coming in for you, my love? Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, what is this cleansing? Here we go now, here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my golly. Look at you. It's the biggest, best card of the deck. It happens to fall on Pisces. Doesn't mean it's just for Pisces. It could be that this is your Ten of Pentacles. 
it could be financial success. It could be the man of your dreams. It could be getting that baby you always wanted, having that baby you always want, or adopting, whatever. Um, it's just satisfaction on every level. Because you've been doing the work. And you know how to allow it to come in. In God's grace, right? That's what I think of it as. Oh, gosh, spirit is here. I can feel it all across me. Like, I can just feel it. I know that sounds crazy to some people, but if you've felt spirit before, it's a feeling of euphoria. When you're given that divine, utmost creator's message, and you're aligning with it, knowing that you're giving that exact message clarity, you get this, your ears get weird, tickles. It feels very, very good. And I hear crickets. Renewal. What are my water babies getting renewed here? What's getting renewed? Let's see what you got. You got this unbelievable opportunity. Now, let me explain this. What you've been seeking is consistency in your life. The divine wisdom of the owl spirit is being shared with you now. Six of pentacles is requiring you to be consistently giving to receive. This is almost like the divine saying, you're starting to understand to be consistent with yourself and the universe in your life. Once you find consistency in yourself, that will be gifted to you. But for now, there's this page of cup offer. It's small. It's a message of an emotional message. It's saying you have some things to work out inside to get consistent. Do the work because this blessing will come in. And it will be your Ten of Pentacles. It will. Let's get that purity. Blessing, 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 blessing. What is purified here for my beautiful water babies? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, what is it that you are getting? Air mail. Oh, it went down the basement. <laughs> Page of Pentacles. So it's like this starting... You're starting fresh. So this, this new beginning, you have to be all in for it to work. And you have to be disciplined and, and you have to be dedicated. You cannot be, you cannot afford to be inconsistent. The universe is saying, buckle up. Because if you choose this route, it is hard work. But it is so incredibly hard rewarding in all ways you have to get over the fear you have to quit relying on ambition because that's a fleeting little fickle in and in and out you can't do this in a rash mindset you need to do your research you need to make sure this is what you want and once you're locked in the universe is going to respond very reciprocate look you can't make it up Right there. In your 12th house. Um, you know. That's your unseen realm. It's your subconscious. It's like your subconscious. Your higher self is going to come along. And marry your third. I say third. But your 3D. Where to put blessing? 3D self. And that's what comes together. But this is your choice. Do you want to fully step into. This position. Because it's here if you do. And uh, if you choose this route, you're guaranteed success with the chariot. Let's get some advice here and blessings. Gaia nurturing. You're very loved. You're very loved. You will be supported by the universe. You do what you feel is right. Follow your intuition. You'll know. And I'm putting that right on that renewal frog spirit. Letting go of your fears, right? Aspen and uh, Aspen spirit. Aspen is like Colorado, I feel. 
courage. Wind activation. Speak your truth. Live your truth. Be authentic. Something's going to get activated about some trip. And that trip could be a trip. It could be a move. Okay. It is designly aligned for you. It is absolutely. Your higher self is saying, do it, do it, do it, do it. Please listen up. Paging my lower self. Paging my lower self. Three Ds. Three Ds. Listen up. Higher self now speaking. Green lights go. Get on the go. Just saying. I know that was obnoxious, but it's like, I don't know how else to say this because you keep asking for validation. You've been asking and asking and asking. And the universe is like, hello, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? It's a little bit of a, you know, heads up to my water babies. And I'm not being cocky. This is the divine saying, yes, a thousand times. You've got confirmation. This is for you in every way. And you know it. You've got the signs. I got the sign. Oh, yeah. I don't even know that song. I don't know what they're singing. Okay. Let's get you some blessings, beautifuls. Wolf instinct, intuition. Hello. Hello. Don't be afraid to be alone. You're not alone. Take this journey. Even if it's a metaphorical journey within one's inner self, this journey is going to bring you to a place of euphoria, satisfaction, freedom from worry, freedom from doubt. You've got a little story. Well, it's two. It's time. Tick tock. It's time. No more waiting. Who are you waiting for? Huh? Because you've got that whale breaching out of the water. Saying now, now, imminent, now. And you've got that new dawn. The promise you're safe. You nailed this. You did. Walk in the path that you know is yours. I'm so excited for you guys. My water babies, y'all rock the house. Because you've done the work. As I say in so many videos, you've learned it, you've earned it, collect it, it's yours. If you felt like this resonated with you, I appreciate your time and energy. And I ask that if you would love, if you would love to like the button, <laughs> we're going to go with it. I appreciate all the support that I can get. And also, if this inspired you, maybe this will inspire someone else as well. With that. I love you. I do. I do. And if you're new, I hope you return. And if you have been here forever because you're my 1111 family, I love you to the moon and back. God bless you all. Bye for now. See you again real soon.